ready? Say hi to my fans. Or? Yeah, hey, oh yeah. So that's off your um, your new EP, right? Mm -hmm. So that's how. Uh, yeah, that's the lead single. How and it's just yeah, self-titled. So yeah. you want to talk a little about that? It's a really rocking tune. Yeah, um, yeah. I recorded it in uh, Sydney, in Australia, and we kind of like laid down most of the bass and drums and everything live. And then uh, yeah, I got lucky enough that this guy Rami Jaffe from the Foo Fighters. Yeah, I saw that on your, on your website. Yeah, that must have been exciting, huh? Yeah, it was just crazy. I would have like. Never in a million years thought that type of thing would happen. So you're kind of influenced by the blues and classic rock? Yeah, very early on it was like 
like the thing that made me want to play guitar was like the Beatles and the Stones and the Who and Zeppelin. Because that has a really nice driving sound. Mm, yeah. So you're from Australia originally, right? Yeah, Melbourne, yeah. So you've been over in England and now you're in New York, so you want to talk a little bit about that trajectory? Yeah, it's just been, um, I released the EP in Australia in the middle of this year. And then, yeah, kind of coming over to like England and America and doing the same type of thing, which is, yeah, really cool. Well, I noticed reading on, on your website, you, you were saying like how you like releasing EPs to get material out there. You yeah. Talk a little bit about that? Yeah, for me, like, I think, especially with like artists that are just starting out, EPs are really great because it's like, it's kind of, you can develop your sound really well across an EP. And then by the time it's time to like make an album, you have more of an idea of what your sound is and you've, like, you know, you've been writing songs longer that it's kind of, EPs are almost like training for Right. Them. Yeah. It's interesting though, so you're a young musician, so you still think though in terms of releasing albums, because the music industry is so much different now. Yeah, well I mean a lot of people probably don't, but like that's just, I just love, all the, like the things I love is like albums, and like old albums, you know, just putting on an album from start to finish, and like how important, how important like the But you don't mean is. vinyl though, right? Oh, I love vinyl. So you actually, so you have the taste of the vinyl, because I grew up with vinyl. Yeah, so. I love vinyl. That's the main thing I listen to at home is, Finals. You know, we grew up with the like the great album covers and the liner notes yeah. and reading the lyrics yeah. and stuff. That's and then the stuff sometimes they do like a pop up in there and the whole story. Yeah, yeah, that's the stuff I love. Yeah. So, um, talk about your use of social media to get your message out there. Which is a lot different today for young musicians, say, than you know back in the day. Yeah, definitely. I think I've only like realized how important social media is in the past like year or so. Because like when I was recording the EP like two years ago, I wasn't even thinking about social media. But now it's like you do think about how like important like the Facebook page is and the Instagram. Yeah, because it's cool. Stuff. I went to your Facebook page to get some background info on you know you know read a couple of the interviews you just posted. Yeah, yeah, it's really and you know it's like right there. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. It's so accessible, like accessible, but it's just like everything's right there, which is cool. And do you tweet? I'm starting to like use it more, but Twitter isn't my favorite out of everything. That's it's, a little weird, huh? It's just hard. Like, I can't get used to it. Like Instagram and things for me is real easy. Do you still do the Instagram so yeah, like, I like tell Instagram. stories? Yeah, but like Twitter for me is a little bit still confusing, but I'm starting to try and get a bit more of a hang on it. So you have the CP out and from what you're saying, this is going to be leading to a full album? Uh, I think I'll do one more EP after this, which I, I've already been back in the studio recently and I want to go back in before the end of the year. And so like at the start of next year, I want to release one more EP, I think, and then after that, I think about an album. So how would you describe the people that listen to you? Do they also like have an interest in classic rock and they're drawn to your influences or? Um, yeah, some people, I suppose. Like, I think it's just like, I just like try with my music to do some different things. Like some of the stuff is really, you know, that rock blues thing and other stuff I really love, like acoustic kind of folk stuff. So I try and really blend the two and do a mixture of the two. So. Yeah, hopefully that comes across. What are some of the acoustic guitars that you like? As in actual like brands? Yeah, or no, not, not guitars, oh. I mean like some of the influence on the acoustic oh, right. guitar. Yeah, well, we grew up liking Hot Tuna, I don't know if you know them, Yorma, mm -hmm. like, which plays like a Mississippi ragtime style. Yeah, right, yeah, that's cool. And like, I don't know, like, or, like Dylan, like Bob Dylan, obviously. Okay. He's like, like Towns Van Zandt, I really like. And so you're a Towns Van Zandt fan? Huh? I mean, he's like, nuts though, huh? Yeah, he's got some really great You ever watch this stuff, up, old stuff on YouTube? Yeah, I do, yeah. He's like nuts. Yeah, he's crazy amazing. But yeah, all that. I just love like, I love a lot of So do you like all country rock at all? Like what they call it over here, all country rock? Yeah, yeah, like I like, yeah, like, I mean, I suppose they're not as much now, but like Wilco. Yeah, kind of right. Like Ryan That's Adams and- Kind of like what I'm talking about. Do you yeah. see yourself going a little bit in that direction or? Definitely, yeah. I really like Ryan Adams is like a real big influence on me. So like, like hopefully on the next stuff I want to put like, it's not really a country song, but I want to put like pedal steel on it just because like I love it. So you like pedal steel? So yeah, you're in Nashville at all? I haven't. I would love to go to Nashville, yeah. But yeah. everyone says it's like Because that's music. like the king of the yeah. pedal steel and music row. Yeah, everyone says it's like music town. Yeah. So what are some of the themes you like to write, write about? I mean, obviously love's going to be one of them. Do you have any like uh, like the young person's anger? Or? Yeah, well, I think it's just like, you just, it, it's almost like emotions. Like you just write about, you know, everything that happens to you. And, you know, it's about like love, like you said, and then like, relationships and friendships and you know all sorts of things. Now do you reside most of the time in Australia or, or are you out of there and you're in England, England or? No, at the moment it's mainly Australia. This is the first kind of And you're in Melbourne or? Yeah, Melbourne. Okay, yeah. so you're writing about like that scene? Uh, like not like in particular like about like Australia but like about like my general life is obviously there so yeah, that's where it comes from. You know, I've never been to Australia, so I'm just trying to imagine what it's like, or is it like, just usually going to be like some universal themes though, right? Mm, yeah, yeah, definitely. I think that's like, especially things like the blues and stuff, it's all about universal themes. Now, do you find with like the internet, you're connecting with people from all around the globe? Yeah, it's funny just... seeing people that like, like the page, you're living in like, you know, 
London or even like India. Or, you know, it's crazy how things can just kind of spread around. Awesome. So are you going to be doing more of a tour? Are you going out to LA, you said? or Yeah, going out to LA and then... Have you been to LA before? I've been, not for like music reasons, but I've been there just for like a few days and stuff. Like a little crazy out there, the whole Hollywood little, thing? Yeah, it's a bit full on. I mean, everyone thinks they're in a movie. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a bit full on. But it's like, it's nice and the weather's nice there and yeah. How do you like Manhattan? I really like Manhattan. And you played Rockwood last night? That's yeah. That's an upcoming place. Yeah, it was great. And just, I just love New York. Like, the whole vibe is awesome. Great. So thanks for coming on the video poem. Yeah, thanks for having me. Hey, awesome, man. Thanks very Good much. Good luck. Cheers. So give me about a day or later tonight to post it. So, so I just email your manager or with it or... Yeah.